and you've got this cool hexagram reflective detail that goes all the way along that catches the sun rather nicely. I'll try and get it from the other side, see if we get it a bit more. Look at that, a plug for the website. Look at that nice iridescence, I think is the word I'm looking for. Let's get a bit of iridescence on the blue. Oh, look at that. It's like a police car from the future. I, I thought I was joking in my last video when I said they're bringing the slums of Brazil, the favelas, to uh, central Manchester. But no, look, we're getting high-rise container crackhead housing. Just what you need. Wow. I love it. <laughs> Here in Tim Hortons, and uh, I've had to pay by debit card. They do not accept cash. Even if you've got the exact change for your breakfast, they don't take cash. They're banning anon an the anonymous... What if you're vulnerable? You don't have a bank account? What if you're homeless? What if you're a nice homeless guy who's fallen on hard times? Not allowed to have a coffee in Tim Hortons because they only accept people with houses, bank accounts, and debit cards. Right on the corner of Piccadilly Gardens, there you go, there's your context. They're advertising 0% alcohol beer. 0% alcohol beer. Peroni Nastro Azuro, 0.0%. Le, no, il pit stoppo. Il pit stop, but what is it? Let's have a look and see if we can see what it is. Let's see if we can see what it is. It's a, uh, it's a Formula One car. Woohoo! Sponsored by Aramco. See that on the front, Saudi Aramco. My dad used to work for that company. I was an Aramco child in the Middle East. But anyway, can I just say, who the? F Fuck in their right mind would drink 0% alcohol. The only fucking reason anyone drinks beer, fermented yeast, wheat, barley, is for the alcohol. Have you seen them? Well, now you have. You're welcome. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Ticket man, ticket yes. man, that is the ticket man. So, passenger assistance using trans report. I'd like to report a trans person, please. That's literally me filming that. That's, that, that's not me. No. Yeah, he's a... Uh, is he not hero from... Uh, what's this? Are they avoiding staff and police? My God, even trying to avoid... If you're an introvert, you're going to get reported on.
we apologize for being on strike. Well, you guys don't need too much of an update. There's enough videos on my channel. You all know what's going on. But uh, dang, this wasn't the, the board. It's changed. Well, did you know that? Well, oh, shh. Right, let's try it then. Let's go to Walkden. Let's see what happens if we go to Walkden. You don't, you don't want to travel by train? Just walk then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um... And, um, um, yeah, um, what do I press? Oh, here we go. Ah, train strike, train strike, train strike. Read more at the Socialist Worker. This actually looks like a train ticket. Whichever graphic designer did this for the SW, SW, they've done well. That's the only good thing I can say. Um, Contrary to what many of you think, I'm actually a, a deep centrist. I don't have anything directly against people wanting more pay, more jobs, more pensions. It's just the way they go about it. And also the wool being pulled over people's eyes, making them think that the only way they can get better jobs, better pay, better pensions is to enter this us and them combative hostility against managers. It's a kind of defunct 20th century way of seeing it. Us and them, the you know, us the proletariat, them the capitalist pigs, I don't think it's like that, especially not in 21st century Britain. I'm sure there's better ways than industrial action to uh, find a compromise. Speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up, and stop. Prince William and Kate, I want to praise the wind rush generation for what they've brought to our country, for letting us white boy. Look at this shit. Magnum tonic wine, original Jamaican recipe. Now that is a proper alcohol content. If you're trying to get fucked up. White boy doesn't drink this. Oh my God, that's a weird color. Bye. Undercover BMW. Very large police response. Someone's been mugged again, I think. Oh no, it's uh, it's long hair from Planked. He's a horrible little man. Why you so bad, though? It's my job. I'm just making money. Get away from me, you! Cause I hate you. Get him away! Get him away from me! Get him away from me! Yeah, yeah. Oh, long hair, what a scumbag. I don't like him, you don't like me. Tell Rage, you little nuns! Get away! Thanks for defending me. Just, what well, I'll do. It, it's just making it a little bit hard. No, of course, but I'm legal. He's illegal. So no, you know no, what I mean? I'll 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 as compromise, I'll I go back two meters. I'll go back two meters. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm not resisting. 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 I'm Great work, officers. Great work. Very good work. He deserves it. He's a very bad man. Yeah, look at this. Gentleman. He's a bad man got arrested. So, it's fighting and drugs and, you know, usual bad stuff. Yeah. I know. 
Well, I hope they clear it up. I know, just trying to hang out with this baby. It doesn't need scum. The exact spot over there. <laughs> just going up to Tib Street. Man got punched, knocked out, left for dead two days ago. Last week, 19-year-old Asian guy on that corner, robbed at knife point. Poor young guy wrote to me on my channel saying, Charlie, please help me. The, um, the mayor... I mean, it's good to see this response. This is great. More of this. Andy Mayor... Uh, sorry, Andy Burnham, Mr. Mayor. More of this. Take him away, boys. Hey, Hello, how are you? How are you doing, Very good. When you get lost and uh, fuck it, just drive down the pavement, no problem. <laughs> The buzz, print works. Anyway, this is uh, one of the corners. Oh look, there's been another police incident. I was just about, I didn't even know this one was here, guys. But uh, this area has become incredibly stabby and robby. Um, again, just CCTV released a couple of days ago of another guy getting robbed, knocked out. He's hospitalized and it's an attempted murder because the guy had a seizure. The guy had a seizure and uh, he's in hospital. He might still pass away and he was robbed for his iPhone 13. Good morning, friendly officers. How are you? Hello, gentle ladies and gentlemen. Very well. I, can't, I, I, I was literally talking as I came around the corner. It's getting a bit dodgy around this area and there's another... What's happened here, if I can ask? Assault last night. Assault last night. Damn, but the, someone must have been hurt. Badly hurt. Thank you. I'll go and film that on the camera. But have a good day, Caleb. Stay across the line because I saw you went over the time. I know. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Never again. That's it. Never again. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. The who? Ali Ahmed. Ali Ahmed. Sorry. Remind me. Oh yeah, right now. Yeah, is that his name? Ali Ahmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's known on my channel as Long Hair. It's Long Hair, don't call it. Long Hair, nice one, mate. Have a good one. See ya. Take care. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, CSI are here because there's been another, another bad one. They're not too bad. Just a small splash. We're on the corner of Tib Street. Tibbo, Tib, where's Tib Street? There, Tib Street. And two days ago, during the daylight, a man, an office worker, was coming down here, and you see on the CCTV a crackhead, robber, follows him to there, and he starts punching him in the head right there, and he, he knocks him out. He knocks the man unconscious and steals his iPhone or wallet, whatever it was he took, and it's the fourth one this week. Four robberies in a kind of 500 meter area. Now, as you saw earlier in the video, or depends where I post in this video, long hair, his name's Ali Ahmed, getting badly arrested. He's a very, very bad character, and uh, he's probably one of the scum that they've had to remove from the street here. So, to the mayor, Andy Burnham, sort it out, mate. Sort it out. In the northern quarter, the guy with the green trainers up ahead. He's walking around with two perfume bottles. I, my theory is he's just shoplifted them and he's offering them to people. Anywho, coffee pot, so popular with the hipsters, hipster breakfasts, weird breakfasts. Um, tried it once, it was okay. Okay. Oh, will I, get, will I get perfume man? Maybe, oh, he's trying a door. Look at that, perfume man's trying the door. North Star, what is North Star? The city. Perfume man. Perfume man. Thieving, perfume man, thieving, perfume man. Thief, thief, thief. Pocket man. Fire. Dun, 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 dun. Fire. Dun. Fire. That's how you do it. Manchester, where you too can feel like a slumdog millionaire. Watch as they construct. There's a, an over the top, you can literally come underneath it. They've got your third world container village. 
for the crackies and uh, you can literally like a bridge go underneath basically if you want to drink lots of lager you want some lager you want to go to a Yates's a Weatherspoons a Nando's a beer keller an O'Neill's come here drink loads of loads and loads of beer fisty cuffs it's a great night out fake brick anyone fake brick fake brick I'm gonna go walk about bloody stereotypical bloody Australian tinny Vic, Vicky bitter tinnies Barbie shrimp on the Barbie fucking hell I had an Australian friend in London and uh, I actually put shrimp on the Barbie for him he'd never actually hello all good all good he'd never actually put a shrimp on the Barbie before and he's Australian I just want to say I, I find it hilarious that they unironically are showing this as an image of beauty this woman looks like a haunted mannequin <laughs> so abandoned top man top shop can you see the mannequin at the back where's the man -e there he is top left of the image abandoned toppy no more top shop big big loss for the Arndale What were they thinking?